Hey, what is up you guys? It's Serge coming at you again with another tech tutorial. This time I'm going to be reviewing the Milk Music application by Samsung Electronics Companies. The same people that make your Samsung phones have made a music application. Now this music application is a free radio service that has no advertisement whatsoever. It does run off of Slacker. It's powered by Slacker so you'll be getting the music that is found in Slacker within this application. Now in my previous videos y'all have seen that I've reviewed Spotify and I've also reviewed the Google Play Music All Access applications and I'm actually a fan of Spotify I have been for a while now but this Milk Music app has just a couple things that I've just found interesting and really helpful that Spotify is just not offering so right now it is still considered a beta application but I've been using it for a couple of weeks now almost a month and I have found that the application is really stable there have been a couple of hiccups here and there where the music might stop randomly or it might hang up a little bit but you know those are just problems that are found in beta applications so other than that the the application is great so let me without further ado let me go and show you on the phone how it looks like and all the functions okay so here we are in the milk music app I'm currently on a chill radio station listening to some music as you see right now this is what you will usually see this is when you're on the station you get a full screen view of either the album artwork or the artist or whatever it may be uh, usually it's the album artwork and this is what you will see when the music is playing now here let me go ahead and get started by showing you the sub menu over here so you have a couple of options create station manage my stations customize dial favorite songs history settings and help so let, let's go ahead and take it one by one so in the create a station you can type in the name of an artist or a song and it will create a radio station for that artist or song simple enough manage my stations so whenever I'm listening to a radio station I can actually save that radio station and it will end up here in manage my stations and if you created one in the option I showed you before they will show up here and then you can manage them in the sub menus you can remove from my stations or you can edit the station and for manage my stations its sub menu is the ability to sort by date sort by A through Z or reorder them so there's a lot of flexibility there next thing is customizing your dial as of right now you are able to select nine genres only um, I don't know if that's because of the dial or if that's just a limitation that they put for now but you're only able to select nine genres so all the genres you have are alternative indie chill Christian classical country dance electronic hip-hop jazz kids Latin pop R&B rock and world so you can choose any nine of those and you can turn the dial on it which I'm really excited to show you here soon so you can turn the dial and mix them you'll see what I mean here in a second next is history so all the music that you've heard before is saved in your history so if you want to go back and find that song that you heard before you can you can go ahead and do that by going to this page and it goes by date so March 20th and it goes by radio station so if you see that number in a gray circle right there that white number in a gray circle that's showing you the number of the station and whatever you've played on those and by date so that's super helpful because that's something Spotify doesn't offer if, if you do use a radio function there's really not an efficient way of going back and looking at that history and then settings here are the couple things that you can customize on this since it is a Samsung phone only application you do use your Samsung account to log into your milk music application so that's how you log into this and this is how it saves all your information for your audio quality audio quality if you do take this application out and about and you drive and you use this as your radio for your car or whatever 
make sure you put it on standard you can you can set it on high if you want but it does use quite a bit of data for high quality audio so I do recommend to keep it on standard if you're going out and about or if you don't have a data cap go ahead and use high and the audio quality you can somewhat tell but if you're not an audiophile then you really won't be able to tell the difference and then allowing the application to use your location is an option I usually leave it off you know I really don't know why they would need my location other than statistics so I'm just gonna leave it off for now and explicit content you know if you want profanity in your music or not you can you can leave it on if you do not want profanity in your music then you can go ahead and take it off and then just help is the information about the application and your ID and everything so that's what help is down there alright so let's go and actually get our hands dirty with this application so the first thing you'll notice is a full screen album outwork that you see in front and then you might be wondering where the dial is well all you do is you touch in the middle here and then you get this dial so as soon as I start turning this dial the radio stations will kind of mix within each other the the responsiveness of the dial is amazing all the radio stations start up almost immediately after you go over them so so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play And as you notice, the amount of time it takes for it to load that station is almost instant. It's like a second, and the radio station's already loaded. And as you see, all of the different genres I, I chose are on the outer ring of this dial. And you can just go ahead and move your finger along that dial. And what I've noticed is it kind of mixes the different genres. Like if you're in between, for example classical and latin it kind of gives you like latin classical music if you're in the middle of that dial which i found very very interesting and very very cool that they did that with this application now as you notice down here you have your your menu button you can favorite the song that's playing on the radio station now you can select to never play that song again or you can add to my stations which will add the station up here with the gray circle and the white lettering it will add that to your my stations and you create you can create a station from the song as well and you can view the stations details there at the bottom as well so the amount of flexibility in this app is amazing which I really 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 like so um, and then the next button is the play button which is pretty self-explanatory play music pause music and the last button here as you see is the skip button you can skip six songs per station all right so as the music is playing you can see that the skip button has a six next to it meaning I have six available skips for this station so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it once and it turns to five now you'll notice I will move over to another radio station and it switches over to six so that's the cool thing about this application is you have six skips Per station and it's not six skips per all your stations which is really cool it gives you more of a flexibility to listen to different types of music and have a, a good amount of skips for that station one of my favorite favorite things of this application is this menu down here that you could just pull up from the bottom and it's the fine-tune station option and what it does it gives you these three little sliders for negative and positive and the popular slider plays more hits or more fringe music on the station so if you want the more popular music that's out right now the more pop music then you just scroll over to the right if you want more underground then skip over to the left in the middle will be you know in the middle so that's really awesome if you want new underground music then you know you can just slide it over to the left now I said new underground music so what about old underground music right so this is what this new slider is you can play newer or older music on this station so you slide to the right newer music slide it to the left older music so right now technically I have it set on the least popular so it'll be underground and old music so old underground music so this is what I really like about this application is the amount of flexibility 
in this application is incredible. And last but not least is favorite. This allows you to adjust how often your favorite songs play on this station. If you have any songs that are favorited and you want to hear nothing but new music, then go ahead and go to the left. If you want to hear your favorite songs that you favorited, go ahead and scroll that over to the to the right side and you'll have you'll have a higher chance of getting those favorited songs played while you're listening to this station. That's just about everything that you can do with this application and as you see the amount of flexibility for this application is immense. You have a lot of flexibility on choosing what kind of music you want and for radio stations. And like I've like I mentioned before, I do compare it a lot with Spotify because that's what I'm most familiar with. I really don't use the Pandora application that that much, so I really can't compare it with it. But compared to Spotify Radio, this is leaps and bounds ahead of that due to the flexibility and the options that it gives you. So this is again still starting off and it is kind of beta and it is only available as of right now for Samsung devices. If somehow it gets ported over to something other than Samsung devices, I'll be sure to put that on this channel. So be sure to subscribe to get that video if it ever does come out. Alright, so if you found this video informative guys, please be sure to give me a like so more people are able to find this video. If I missed anything, please be sure to leave a comment down below so I'll get to you as soon as possible and try to answer that question that you have. And please be sure to go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of other tech videos on there as well and a whole bunch of other videos coming out soon. So please be sure to subscribe to get those videos on your timeline as soon as they come out. Alright, that's it for now guys. My name is Serge. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.